All right, so in this video we're going to talk about, you know, we've created our invoice, now we're going in to receive our payments, and uh, the client decides to give us a little extra money. <laughs> so I'm going to go to receive payments here, and I'm going to choose one of my clients here. All right, so they sent us a check for the OS 2692.38. Let's say they sent us a check for $3,000. Isn't that so nice? So right now, it's going to give us an overpayment of $307.62. Okay, so when you have that that balance here, essentially you can use the credit to be you can leave the credit to be used later by the client. Okay, so what this will do is if I save this, I'm going to put this to May 15th, 30, 31st, so that I can come right back up into this one. So if I want to save it to be used later, right now, if I go into my AR Aging Summary for Robert Allard, it's got that 2692.38, right? So let me go ahead and save this. Okay. It already gives you a warning. Do you want to print out a credit memo for this client? So you can print the credit memo right from the screen so the client knows that they have a credit memo or they have a credit on file. So I can go ahead and say print credit memo. I'm going to preview it. That's what it looks like. Outstanding credit. See, it just creates this description here. So you can print that for the client if you want to. But I saved it. So now I'm going to go look at the air aging summary as of the 31st. Okay, so now notice they have a negative balance on their AR Aging Summary account. And that is because they've got that credit sitting there. All right. So next time you create an invoice, you can apply the credit to the invoice if you want to. So now let's go back here and say, instead of leaving the credit to be used later, you want to refund the amount to the customer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say save and new. It's going to pop up issue a refund here. So do you want to issue the refund via check, American Express, you know, cash, all that stuff. So notice too, when I choose American Express, I can process the credit card refund when I save it. If I've run the credit card through QuickBooks. Okay. So we can say refund by check, which account is it going to come out of? What class does this have? Um, any memo and do we want to print it? Okay. What's the date on the check? So this will create a check for us. Instead of it sitting as a negative in accounts receivable, we'll be sending a check out to this client. Okay. So now if I go look at my chart of accounts in my bank account A, I see check payment right here against accounts receivable for Robert Allard. Um, and then if I go look at my air aging summary report, He's not on here anymore because we don't owe him any money. He doesn't owe us any money. All right. So that's what happens um, or how to handle a customer overpayment.